Well, uh, nah, I don't, I don't pay attention to it. I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, everything I've been do throughout these two, three years, I mean, I should be the underdog. But I mean, it is what it is, man. A lot of, a lot of people become underdog and they end up winning. So that's why it's a bit. This is a legendary fight. I feel like, you know, belts aside, all that type stuff. I'm talking about, you talk about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. This is the biggest fight in boxing, period especially action pack wise. If you know his mentality, you know my mentality, you already know, man, we, we, going, for, we going for the victory, but a tough victory. I know he's not gonna try to break. I'm definitely not breaking. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be all out war. I think it's gonna be tactical in the first, in the first couple of rounds, but as rounds go, as rounds go on, you know what I'm saying? He, I'm gonna try to break his will. He's gonna try to break my will. And uh, we both gonna go for the victory. I'm, everybody between July 29th is gonna be a all-out war, action-packed fight, and you're gonna want to tune in to this fight because this fight is gonna be talked about for decades. When I win this fight, it'll be no argument who's the best fighter in the world. You know, pound for pound, cool. But you know, this is no argument throughout anybody. I don't care about rankings. I don't care about you know who you think is the best. There's no argument that. Whoever wins this fight will be the best fighter in the world. I'm going to make a great statement. I'm putting on a great show, a great performance. Like I always say, this might be a one-sided ass whooping. July 29th, I'm going to show each and every one of y'all why. This era is the Terrence Crawford era. Yeah. Yeah. Come fight night, he called himself the big fish, right? But what you do when the fish get took out the water? You suffocate them. Let's go. Well, I don't know. It's an inner bulldog in me. You know, when I see that blood, when I see weakness, I just go for the kill. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, all types of great fighters got that instinct that when they see one of their opponents hurt or wounded, they go for the kill. This was a fight that I wanted. This was a fight that boxing needed. You needed two great fighters, well, one good fighter, one great fighter, great fighter and myself, putting everything on the line. You know, both in their primes, no blemishes on their record, and just letting it all go for that one night. Well, I just wanna do like I've been doing. I wanna make a statement by, you know, going out there, beating Errol Spence, and tremendous fashion where there's no doubt of who was the victory and that's me and that would solidify me as the greatest fighter of this era definitely not man i'm not gonna lie tyrant got the best matchmakers in the business you ain't fought nobody man you haven't beat anybody undisputed at 140 who you fought at 135 and who you fought at 147? Even you fought Sean Porter. Even Sean Porter said, "What did he, I do to Sean did, Porter that you couldn't?" Sean do? Porter said, even said he, he did not Sean train Porter like he should. He didn't do the do. things that his daddy told him to do. What are you, you talking about? You even his daddy hurt. said it. Even his daddy said it. You, 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 you butthurt that I got the. Even his it. daddy said it. You butthurt. Even Kel Brook, he was already broken. So was he broken you when you fought? About? No, he wasn't broken. How come I broke was? the other eye. He came off of I broke the other eye. Yeah, that's how stoppage. I got broke. That's how I got broke. He, he came off a of stoppage. What does it matter? He came off a of stoppage what, and then he fought you. Months, what does it what does it matter? Months prior. What so, does it matter? So was he broken or not? No, he, he wasn't broken. No, he wasn't off. broken. Yeah, you're right. You right. What are you talking about? I had the same surgery he had, and what happened? So what they say about you then? You fight me then. I'm gonna break the other eye. <laughs> so what, what they say? So I'm broken then, right? Well, you're broken. You're gonna be broken July 29th. <laughs> yeah, oh, we gonna see. You're gonna be broken. So it, that, 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 I'm gonna gut them. And I'm gonna feed them to everybody that eat fish in here. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself the big fish. We're gonna have enough food for everybody. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Put some potatoes on the side of it, too. <laughs> hey, man, y'all go to ESJ.com, the truth.com, and go buy that hot pack, man. We're gonna roll him up and smoke him in Vegas. We, we, we'll see. Errol? We don't, we, don't, we don't smoke over here. It's you legal in Vegas, man. Drink. We gonna roll him all, over and smoke do, him. All we do hey, is man. fish filet. We gonna roll him over and smoke him, man. We go hunting over here, and best like believe I said, we hunting you We down. gonna roll him up and smoke this dude. 
He's a guy never talking, but a guy who goes in there and makes it happen and gets busy. And I think that what you'll see on July 29th is Errol Spence go out and yet again prove his dominance over another fighter. It's not so much about knocking somebody out, it's always about breaking somebody, breaking somebody's will, breaking somebody else's desire to continue to fight. And that's what you'll see July 29th. Harold Spence breaking Terrence Crawford's will. I think he's been a great fighter. I mean, I, you know, he's been very successful. I mean, I believe that he is the most accomplished boxer in boxes, probably, which is successful 135 to 140, 147. But I think that at the same time, it's like, um, hey, that, that none of that matters. None of that matters. Everything is all. Everything you ever done is on the line right now. So that's all that matters. There's no playing around with him. You know, he come to he come to get you out of there. You know, once he hurts you, that's a rat. I'm I'm sure I can get, get many uh, former fighters that he didn't fought to come up here and, and back up what I'm saying. Now I will tell you this: Earl's a damn good fighter, damn good fighter. He accomplished a lot in the game, and I I tilt my hat to him and his trainer, Derek. But the boxing world, the real fighters know, the real boxing fans know out there who gonna win this fight.